Living Local Carolina with Katie Turner. Local trends, shopping, dining, and more. This is Living Local Carolina. This story is sponsored by Belfour Property Restoration. Well, thanks so much for joining us today again on Living Local Carolina. Today I'm in the studio joined by Wynn. How are you doing, Wynn? Doing amazing. Why would I choose otherwise? Oh, I love that. Love that. <laughs> now, you've got a story to tell, Wynn. Yes. You were able to use Belfour Property Restoration to help you out of a pretty precarious situation. Absolutely. I was outside talking to a neighbor of mine, and when I returned into the house, my son came up to me at the door and he said, Mom, it's raining in the hallway. <laughs> Something you don't want to hear. <laughs> you do not want to hear those words. I said, raining in the hallway? What do you mean? Sure enough, I went into our hallway and there was water just coming down through the ceiling of the hallway into the hall into the bedroom into my office it was not a fun afternoon <laughs> no not at all but thankfully you were able to call Belfour property restoration yes, we love Belfour but how was that process for you it was wonderful um, I picked up the phone gave a call they came out immediately um, checked out what was causing it and got <laughs> everything to stop that was number one priority mm -hmm. um, and then walked me through what was going to happen next, including having to lift carpets and dry things out, looking at the floor. Um, but peace of mind from moment one. I mean, when they showed up at the door, I was like, okay, they're in charge, they know what they're doing. And I just took a big sigh of relief. It was oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. It takes kind of the burden off of you. Absolutely, because we were in panic. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine why. Water tends to run, and so as it hit the floor, I mean, it just was just running and you could see it beginning to just buckle, buckle, buckle pieces mm -hmm. of the flooring. And I thought, will it ever stop? Because it's going underneath it, but you could tell where it was headed. Ooh. So it was very frightening for us, but they didn't bat an eye at it. Of course. They just knew. <laughs> <laughs> so once they were actually to get the water to stop running, mm -hmm. what happened after that? Because you had got to get that dried out as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. So like I say, on the first day, they brought in the um, drying equipment and pulled up as much of carpet. It was as was needed to be pulled up. They didn't mm. have to pull it all out. So it's just kind of lifting it, being able to dry underneath it. And then I think within another day, they were there um, actually taking out the floor. We had some glue down hardwoods. We also had some vinyl uh, plank in there and they were just in moving furniture, moving stuff out. Um, they got us really clean so that we could live while we were picking out what we wanted. We, you know, mm -hmm. hey, take advantage of it, it's an upgrade, True. you know. So we were able to then visit the showroom and sit down with folks there and talk about what we wanted, what would look good, get it ordered. Um, it came in without a problem, which was amazing. And then they were back on time, scheduled, told us when they'd be there, kept us updated on the ordering and when things would show up. And I think that was the best for us mm -hmm. because just as we would start worrying what about have they is this then we would get a phone call or an email communication and we were like oh okay they, they got it you they know take care of. <laughs> exactly Sign, seal, deliver. yeah yes yes that's awesome now tell me how do you feel on, from the day that you had the incident happen mm -hmm. all that rain in your <laughs> cow <laughs> in your home <laughs> versus how you feel now Oh my gosh, well we just love them because everything settled right back out. What was moved out of the way was moved right back where it belonged. It was just carefree and of course now we love our floors. Oh my gosh, everybody oh, yeah. who comes over, say, oh I love your floors, where'd you get them done? You know? I said, well I don't Funny recommend story. a rainstorm in your house, but I do recommend Belfort. Love it, <laughs> love it. I'll tell you what I thought about. Belfort looks like big business. Mm -hmm. And in our home, our leak, that was big business to us. But we knew our big business was really little business. But you know what? They made us feel like our little business was their most important piece of business. And I wouldn't trade that for the world.
We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. The following portion of Living Local Carolina is sponsored by Ultimate California Pizza. What an exciting day, you guys. I am at Ultimate California Pizza and Surfside because we have our next Crystal Apple winner. Christine, congratulations. July 2024 Crystal Apple winner. How are you feeling? Whew, a little overwhelmed. Excited. Overwhelming. Nervous. Yeah. yeah. Humbled. Definitely. Yeah. So your students nominated you for this award. You are a phlebotomy professor. I am. Tell me a little bit about what you do. I teach my students how to stick a needle in a patient's arm and get blood. Bing, that's bang, what boom. it is. That's, that's what it simple. is. Well, there's Not a little really. bit more involved with it, but that's <laughs> the gist of it. We have a lot of fun in the in the class, and um, the students bond because they have to stick each other with a needle, tie each other up, feel each other up on the arm by palpating. So yeah, they do get close. They get um, they form bonds, lifelong relationships. I love it. How long have you been teaching? Since 2013. I took over the program in 2015. I love it. Oh I love goodness. my students. Yes. And I can tell your students love you too. Being a professor, you really get to see them take on their careers oh, yes. really soon. When I go to the sites to um, evaluate the students that are in the class, I get to see the um, previous students now taking over the sites, being in charge. And so that's also an incentive to the students in the at the sites i love it well congratulations again thank you this is so, so much exciting. thank you thank you on behalf of ultimate california pizza and divine dining group we are excited to honor professor christine farrier from ori georgetown technical college as the crystal apple award winner for july 2024. our company is a huge supporter of education at all levels in our local community we sincerely congratulate you christine for making such a phenomenal impression on your phlebotomy students that they nominated you and you were chosen to receive this award today. Congratulations on being the Crystal Apple Award winner for July 2024, sponsored by Ultimate California Pizza. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. I um, am, am honored for this award. Being able to help my students get to the point where they need to get to in life to be able to achieve their goals and you know, hopefully change lives, that's what it's all about. We take it very, very seriously at the school to impact our students' lives. This portion of Living Local Carolina was sponsored by Ultimate California Pizza. Well, welcome back to Living Local Carolina. Today I'm joined in studio by Becky from the Champion Autism Network. Becky, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Tell me, how did you get involved with CAN in the first place? I created CAN. Okay. So um, I have a son who's high functioning on the spectrum. We relocated here from the South Jersey area 11 years ago. And, you know, there's all these wonderful organizations that support the person with autism, you know, therapies and speech and ABA, but there's nothing for the family. Mm -hmm. And so that's, we started in 2013 with our sensory friendly movies. Um, it, people came out to them and they were so excited to be somewhere where everybody got it and understood. They asked what else was there. So we took surveys and collected data and we started a training program for restaurants because that was the number one thing our parents mm -hmm. wanted to do. So we started to educate restaurants and then I was like, okay, if you're gonna, like I said, invite the autism world to come out and play, everybody needs to know how to treat them and what's going on. So the um, travel initiative started in 2016 and that's when we became a, a 501c3 and incorporated and we've just been kind of off and running ever since. You're really covering all the bases though, from the educational standpoint to actually just providing them something to do. But from your standpoint, what has it felt like being able to actually educate somebody that had no idea what autism was? How does that feel to you as a mom too? It's, uh, it's really wonderful and refreshing, you know, and it's not, it's not embraced by everybody or every business and that's okay, right? Um, we're just, happy that most businesses and, and people in the community feel it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And really, it's just, it's not rocket science. Generally speaking, you know, you just have to kind of lead with love and like in a restaurant or pretty much anywhere. If you have light switches and a volume control, you're halfway there in supporting people. Then it's just learning tips and tricks about, you know, uh, what to do, how to treat people, 
these autism families in your restaurants or your stores or at your resorts and you know what kind of support they might need and then what, what to look out for in case there's an, a runner or an eloper, how to handle mm -hmm. that situation. A little patience goes a long way too. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. This portion of Living Local Carolina is sponsored by the Good Feet Store. Well, there's only one reason why I would not be wearing shoes, and that's because I'm at the Good Feet Store with Jessica. Thank welcome you so back. much for having me. Yes, welcome back. It's amazing to have you back. Oh my goodness. We actually, so the last time I was here, I wanted to be able to do this and now we're making it happen, we are taking an impression of my foot. It's gonna be a great experience for you. I'm so excited. So this is what would happen if you were to come to the Good Feet store and want to get this done so you can get fitted and get the right arch support. For Correct. You. Mm -hmm. Walk me through the process. All right, so what we're gonna do, Katie, is you already got your shoes off, so that's great. I'm gonna have you take a natural step through this pad, okay? You're gonna start with the left foot, so I'm just gonna have you just step and walk right off. Perfect. Very good. All right, art. <laughs> we have your feet here. Okay, we shall sit back down. Yes. So we'll talk about what we're looking for when we take your foot impressions. So everything we do here is based off of this ideal foot. So there are a few key characteristics that we're looking for when we take your foot impressions. One is even shading from the top of the toes to the bottom of the heels. Okay, that lets me know that you evenly distribute your weight as you walk. We're looking for all five toes to be clearly defined and visible. That tells me that your foot is balanced. We want the inside of the second toe and the outside of the pinky toe to be in line with the inside and outside of the heel. Okay. That indicates whether you roll in or out as you walk. And then we want a nice strong C-shaped arch here. Okay, so what's the damage? You're <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it looks like you put a lot of pressure on your toes and on the balls of your feet. Okay. Um, which is fine because the supports are really going to make a big change in that. Okay. So are you ready to try them on? I'm ready to try them okay. on. Okay. We got a few things we need to do first. So we focus on total body wellness here. So there's three different supports. They do three different things. Mm -hmm. So this is called your strengthener. This is going to actually tighten and tone the muscles in the bottom of your feet. So it's like your feet are going to the gym and not your body. And you don't have to think about it right. too because you're wearing it throughout the day, Exactly, right? exactly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have you keep your foot just how it was. Okay. And I'm gonna size these to the bottom here. Now, we have another cool thing that we do for sizing and it's called a balance technique. And this is where we check your balance. So. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, press up. Okay, Ooh. so not a lot of pressure, right? and we just kind of pulled you right to the front mm -hmm. of your feet. All right, I'm gonna have you put your hands behind your back just like this. One, two, three, press up. <laughs> I went immediately to my heels. Okay, so I'm gonna have you step into your supports. I want you to put your heels right in that cup for me. There you go, perfect. Very wow. good. Okay. All right, hands to the back. Okay. One, two, three, press up. What? Very good. Oh my gosh. That really, I'm not kidding, that makes a huge difference. Yes. So having your feet in proper alignment gives you better strength and better stability. Hmm. That is a very important for our elderly population mm -hmm. because they have a tendency to be unstable and they have a tendency to fall. So these yeah. actually give you better strength and better stability. So what we're gonna have you do is just put these bad boys on. So. <laughs> I like the way it feels. Right, it should feel like an upside down spoon in the forward part of your arch. Yeah. So it's gonna be a big deal for you because you're very toe heavy. So now when you walk, you're gonna be walking heel to toe. Your toes are not doing any work right now. You're pretty tall, so we just made you a little bit taller. <laughs> your shoulders are backing down your spine. We're evenly distributing your weight. You should feel like there's no pressure in your heels, no pressure no. on the balls of your feet. Everything's wow. just kind of right there in the center. Now I see why y'all do this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. that's too cool. Yeah. 
This has been so much fun. Yeah. Honestly, I think everybody should come in and get this experience just so you can see also what your issues with your feet are. How can people get in contact with you guys? Where are you located? You can call us here at the store, 1-800-NEW-FEET. Uh, you can schedule an appointment at goodfeet.com or you can just pop in and see us. We're right across the street from the Costco gas station on Seaboard Street. This portion of Living Local Carolina was sponsored by the Good Feet Store. Don't forget to like our page on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. How to use the QR code. Just open the camera app on your smartphone, iPad, or tablet. Point your device at the QR code so the QR code appears on your screen. Your device will recognize the QR code and show you a notification. Click that notification and you'll come to our website. Living Local Carolina, weekday mornings at 9.30 on WBTW News 13.